Hello everyone, joyous to connect with you in this beautiful podcast space. Welcome back or warm welcome to you if this is your first time listening to Plant Message. Excited to share with you the presence of the plant consciousness that is here with us in this episode, which is the plant consciousness of the olive tree. For I'm guessing the most of us listening here, not a native tree, but probably is very present in our daily lives and thinking about eating olives, using olive oil, whether it is in food or in the product you use. This plant has a very, very ancient history in being cultivated. And as we are being with them here now, I feel that, I feel the ancient quality of their presence. And they're reminding me of a time I connected with them deeply I didn't realize it at the time. They're showing me when I was nine or ten, I was with my family in Crete, the Greek island, and we were walking through a cliff, a valley, a cliff called Samaria. It was the beginning of a, um, of a hike through the whole of the cliff, a kilometers long hike. And we were, my parents, me, my sister, a young family. We were only at the beginning to check it out. We weren't there to walk it. So I remember us sitting uh, at the entrance of this cliff under an olive tree. It feels really touching because I can feel them. I remember them strongly. And at the time, I felt really submerged in the energies there and now I'm realizing I was also deeply connecting to that tree. And that's the olive tree as well that's connecting to me now. For me there is a difference, I will explain a bit about this before we go further in the nettle plant sessions that that we journeyed through in May on Patreon, we, we explored this concept of the body consciousness and the realm of body consciousness is to explain it concisely it's your body and all bodies have a body consciousness an intelligence that shapes basically takes care of your body and in these plant messages I connect with the body consciousness of the plants to their intelligence and and that intelligence speaks to our body intelligence whether we know it or not that happens as well when you walk into the forest all these body intelligences talk to each other and you live in a body so that's a different consciousness that's the spirit of the soul living in the vessel and like uh, vine shared or grape in their message your relationship with your body might be the most intimate relationship you have and in my opinion it is the most intimate relationship you have the relationship with your body consciousness like with the consciousness of plants you can connect to your body consciousness so with plants the um, the term elementals or with trees divas is also being spoken about And I usually feel pulled to refer to it as a body consciousness or intelligence because that's what it is deeply to me. And what's interesting about this space here now and my connection, the connection I feel to the olive tree is that at the same time I'm connecting to sort of collective body consciousness of olive. I'm also connecting specifically to the energy to the soul, the consciousness. I, it feels like lives and not lived in that tree now at this moment. And I feel like I know them really well. So this is also to share with you that you might have now or in the past 
been deeply connecting with a consciousness of a specific tree or plant. And whenever you're now connecting into that collective of plants, you still also hold the memory of this specific plant or tree or animal for that matter that you connected with. They're also showing me two things. How in that time I can feel how I felt them. Then I was very open. Um, they're showing my heart and my consciousness being wide open and beaming with light. And I can remember that I felt very alive, full of the wonder and mystery of life, being full of excitement and hope. And so, yeah, this, this youthful feeling is also a theme. And the second thing they're showing me is that in that moment I felt really drawn to walk that path uh, through that cliff. But we were a young family, so we weren't about to do that. What they're showing me about this hike, this path, is that it's like an initiation walk, where at one point in the walk, it becomes very narrow, the wall, stone walls or the edges of the cliff becoming very near to each other. And that that's like a portal or gateway to the other side. Which reminds me of many special sites on earth that were used for initiation rituals by ancient civilizations that have a similar setup, sort of a stone stone tunnel becoming very narrow, then having a gateway to a new stage, to a new place where you physically had to travel through. I'm thinking of one that I've been personally in Cusco, in Peru, at a site called Sanche Oman, if I pronounce that correctly. Okay, so they're showing that the energy of this new moon has like a... Um, it's the 8th of the 8th month, is like a portal date, has that quality to it. And now I'm, I'm being more drawn to the, the body consciousness of the olive tree that shows me Egypt and the long, long history, thousands of years of history that they have in that country and the, the Egyptians having... Um, a relationship, deep relationship with the stars and especially with Sirius. This period we're in now is being referred to sometimes as the dog days. The star of Sirius also is called the dog star. It's the brightest star in our night sky seen from Earth and that star is in the constellation of the greater dog or Canis Major not sure how you say that. Astrology is not my forte, but they, I know and they're showing me like Sirius in this period in time is disappearing from our visible sight from Earth because it's, if I'm correctly, traveling behind the sun. So they're showing like it's being embraced, like traveling in the sun and then coming out the other end. So this also to show what's happening in our skies that is informing us as well and we are energetically being given an opportunity or the the winds in our back to go through a certain gateway or transition let's tune in to what this is about and i will hand over to the olive tree to speak more directly to us okay Let's go. I just paused to first write down the message of Olive Tree for us, so I will read it now to you. Hello, dear ones. With all of you, I have a deep connection, whether you are conscious of this or not. I'm saying this to awaken your remembrance that you know me very well. I'm here today to speak about rejuvenation 
and regeneration. That is the body potential that you have, that you hold, and your body consciousness or intelligence knows about, and that will be activated within you. This gateway in time has a grand regenerative potential to it. What do I mean by this? Firstly, imagine that you put my oil all over your skin. That will help receiving what I have to share. You hold the potential within your body to rejuvenate to age without getting old. So without all the symptoms relating to this. This is a very vast and deep topic and I'm here to open this topic up. I'm seeding this so that it can start to grow in your awareness. The plant realm, nature realms and the human have a grand journey ahead on this path. What you can start to hold, begin to practice to hold, if you wish so, from this moment onwards, is this potential as a choice that is yours. Becoming aware of and letting go of all concepts related to certain ages that are not in alignment with vitality. So ask yourself what ideas, what beliefs, feelings you hold around the age you have now. And I will pause to let you think about this. And what ideas, beliefs, feelings do you have around your ages to come. And tune in with your past timeline. See your age from zero till now and walk along this line to feel your journey of experiencing your age. Would you like to rewrite this? What would you like it to be? How would you like to feel in your body now and in your nows to come? Take a good moment to feel this now and practice this feeling again and again to renew it until it is your now. In this space here, I would like to share an exercise you can do in this portal time. So if you'd like, imagine yourself on your timeline like a path, maybe passing through a cliff, maybe somewhere else. Your age in this exact moment is the narrowest point on the path and is the gateway to a future timeline that is submerged in health and vitality. We will start to walk at point zero, the beginning of your path, and bodily feel yourself starting to move from this point zero. And this time I will be with you, informing your body intelligence with mine with the quality of rejuvenation and regeneration, rewriting. So feel yourself on this path.
And now we come to the narrowest point of the path, the gateway. This place is shielded with my oil, like a womb fleas. And as you step mindfully through it, feel this golden youth on all of your skin. And entering your future timeline in golden light with an activated regenerative body system. Thank you, Olive Tree, for that. And as a last piece for this message, they share also a um, simple but potent ceremony you can do for yourself to enhance what we just did. And that is literally to submerge your skin with this oil. To first intentionally you can put your, your hands around the bottle or the, the bowl with the oil. Obviously, you can also add essential oils to this. Uh, from that place, start to feel into how you would like to feel in your body. However vitality and being healthy feels to you or what you wish for. So that's how you put that energy into the oil and then massage the oil all over your skin. Preferably being extra virgin, uh, cold pressing, first pressing of the olive oil. All right. Thank you so much, olive tree and blackbird that is still alarm calling outside, but sort of guiding the, the meditation we did with a rhythmic sound. I hope this will assist you in whatever way, shape or form. And to end with, I just want to share um, a funny synchronicity that I just, before I wrote the message down, found out about. So I'm wearing this blouse today. As I took a break, I felt that I really was enjoying this blouse and the feeling of the fabric on my skin. And I thought that's funny because um, I've had this blouse for a few years now, but I remember when I bought it, I was quite hesitant, like feeling maybe a day later, I actually realized that, that this type of blouse wasn't for me. And it had to do with the store I bought it in, but I couldn't remember what. So I checked the label in the blouse and the brand is called Forever 21 or 21, no, Forever 21. <laughs> <laughs> so typical, so so lovely. I really absolutely love how life speaks in synchronicities. So I'm curious to hear what you, how you relate to your age, um, how your travels and transitions are with feeling vital in your body. Have a beautiful time, whether you're in the hottest days of summer or you're in deep winter in the south half of this planet. I wish you well and look forward to connect with you and the plant realm in the next episode. Mm -hmm.